Hello and welcome back to Rotary Rockets. Today we've got the seventh in our Eliminator series of model rockets. Eliminator 7, code name Caution, as you can tell by the paint job. So if you didn't see the launch for Eliminator 6, um, we've got a link down in the description. Uh, we didn't do a traditional video for that, we did a comedy parody video. So I encourage you to take a look at that. We put a lot of time and effort into that video and it came out really funny. So. Take a look at the link and watch that Eliminator 6 video. So this is Eliminator 7, our seventh try in the series. So we didn't really go through the changes that we made for Eliminator 6 um, after it uh, crashed. So let's take a look at the Eliminator 7 changes um, that are different from the Eliminator 5 and all the ones previous to that. So this features a new fin design with the fins beveled up instead of down, so uh, hopefully a fin doesn't hit the ground first when we land. We should land on the, uh, the nozzle of the rocket as the first point of contact. We've also greatly increased the reinforcement and strength of the entire fin assembly inside to make them a lot stronger. This is also using our all-metal RoboMonkey motor housing, which we already have installed there. This will be the third launch for this motor housing. It seems to work very well, so we're looking forward to a good launch with that motor as well. The other improvement we made is we now have a six-foot diameter parachute instead of a three-foot diameter parachute, so that should greatly reduce our descent speed, hopefully making for a nice landing. And then, based on the Eliminator 6 failure, we've changed the positioning in here of where the flight computer is located. We really believe that there was a G-force issue that uh, ripped the battery out of position for Eliminator 6. So we've changed the flight computer and the battery from being hanging down underneath this mounting bracket to being on top of the mounting bracket. So it really can't fall out of place from G-force. So that should really be helpful in maintaining the integrity of the flight computer and the battery. So, this is Eliminator 7. We're going to give it a launch today. not coming into down. Space. <laughs> Thank you. 